Waterford 225, Cork 125. What a massive, massive win for Waterford Hurling. And you certainly saw what it meant to Davy Fitz right at full time for Waterford to get over the line, to get the win, to get the victory. Absolutely massive for Waterford and absolutely massive for Davy Fitz. And you know, like nobody gave Waterford a chance coming into this game. Everybody wrote them off. Look, I backed Cork to win the game. I did say it would be close. I did say it would only be two or three points. I didn't buy into all the talk about Waterford being completely wrote off. I've seen some people say Cork would win this by 10, 15 points. I heard you know a few other clips from a few other GA podcasts saying that Cork might win this by 20 plus. And I just thought that was absolutely mental talk. Absolutely mental talk. Like Davy Fitz would have been relishing the fact of Waterford being the underdog. Like so many times when Waterford are the underdog, that's when we see the best out of Davy Fitz. That's when we see him pull off big results, big shocks, big surprises. And today was absolutely no different where Waterford managed to get the victory. They win out by three points in the end. Cork tried to make a game over towards the end. And look, they went down to 13 men in fairness. Nearly got something from it. Alan Connolly obviously gets a goal and everything else. And to be fair to Cork, most teams in that sort of circumstance would have waited away and Waterford would have won it by, you know, six, seven. Um, but quite incredible. And it's been a mental day of of championship action, not just in Hurling, but obviously in uh, in football as well. You felt like every game has gone down to the war. Every game has had something uh, to talk about. Every game has had its, um, its own storyline. And obviously tomorrow... And um, we'll, we'll review them games, obviously, in more detail and, and speak a bit more about that. But focusing in on this game, like, I think for Cork, they were just rattled early on and they couldn't recover. Like, Patrick Horgan hit the opening point from a free. But then after that, Waterford outscoring Cork 1-4 uh, to no score until Patrick Horgan's free on the 11th minute. Jamie Barron obviously getting the goal. Mikey, Michael Coyley was outstanding. Jack Prendergast very good as well. And Waterford just clicked into gear and they were absolutely bang up for this game. And I think, you know, Davy Fitz wouldn't have had to probably have had a team talk before this game other than listen to what people have said. Everybody's wrote you off. Everybody said Waterford don't have a chance. And Waterford were bang, bang up for it. And it rattled Cork early on because in the first half, I think Cork hit maybe 10 wides, I think, in total. Um Patrick Horgan was missing a lot of chances. They just weren't really able to get their big players in the game. Like Alan Connolly finished obviously with 1-4, but we didn't really see the best out of him until the final 10 or 15 minutes. And Cork just couldn't get their, their shooters into the game. And Waterford completely rattled Cork. There's absolutely no doubt about it. Um, Davy Fitz brought a game plan. You know, he came to spoil the party. He came to upset the odds. And they 100% done that. Um like Jamie Barron but won three outstanding. Stephen Bennett won three. Uh, Desi Hutchinson, 10 points, w- w- was very, very good. And the thing is about Waterford is that two years ago, they were touted as the team, you know, the team that was closest to Limerick. You know, everybody looked at Waterford as the closest challengers. Everyone, like, really, really bet into this Waterford side. They'd obviously won the league. They'd been to an all Ireland final a couple of years previous, been to the all Ireland semi-final in 2021. Everybody looked as Waterford. Everybody looked at Waterford as a team who could topple Limerick. Fair enough, since then, things have gone very poorly. Bad championship campaign last year. Um, the, the year before, obviously, didn't go too well uh, as well. Two wins in their last eight championship games before this. Um, but they haven't become a bad team overnight. It's not like there's been a huge exodus of players or player retirements or anything like that. Like, fair enough, they don't have Austin Gleeson. There's obviously been a change in management as well with Davy Fitz coming in um, in place of Liam Cahill. But you always felt like there was something there for Waterford. There had to be a kick out of them. There had to be a response. And by God, did they get it today. It was absolutely brilliant to see. And look, as a neutral, no toys really to anyone uh, in, in this game. You know, just looking for a good game of hurling. Um, and by God, did we get that. Like, this was absolutely brilliant to see. And... Um, I think the Munster Championship is some advert for uh, for Hurling. It really, really is. Um, look, Cork done their best to, to get themselves back into it. Like, did a few good performers uh, as well. Like, Alan Connolly towards the end, obviously finished quite brightly, 1-4 in total. Um, Dara Fitzgibbon was impressive with, with, with four points. But, obviously, they give away the penalty with Kieran Joyce. Um, not long after that, Damien Cahalan gets sent off. 
And then it was backs against the wall and it was really just could they find the way to get themselves uh, back into it. But um, like every ball that was getting played in was being uh, snuggled up by Tyg the Burka, who, who was absolutely brilliant. Connor Prunty was very, very good. Calum Lyons had an outstanding game as well. Three points from him. And Waterford backed themselves. They backed themselves to find a way to come through it and they did it. Um, and you saw what it meant to Davy Fitz at full time the emotions and, and everything else that went into it. Um, absolutely huge for, for, for Davy Fitz and, and for Waterford because you felt like if they lost today, you know, and, and got off to the, to a bad start in the Munster Championship, then there, you know, there, there could be no way back. There really, really could be no way back for Waterford, but also for Davy Fitz in terms of being, you know, a top level manager uh, in, in Hurland. So, yeah. Quite, quite remarkable, remarkable stuff there from a from a Waterford perspective. Like, was it a red card for Damien Cahalan? Was probably a little bit harsh in in some respects. Obviously, a second yellow. Um, but then again, we 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 see them get given now, so there's probably no surprises there. And obviously, the black card for Kieran Joyce. Um, I think the referee, like he had, he, he did have to think about it a little bit, didn't he? Um, Michael Kennedy, like he obviously had to consult the the umpires and everything else. Um, in in regards to it being a a penalty, um, and it probably was a penalty in fairness, and it was very well uh, dispatched. Uh, it must be said by Stephen Bennett. And yeah, just a massive setback for Cork. Like you think Cork didn't get out of Munster last year? Let's not forget. Um, and now they're massively up against it. Like they play clear. Next up, uh, I think they played at a home, I think, in Parky Cueve. Obviously, the good news for Cork is that Clare are coming in on the back of a defeat um, as well. But this just shakes it up. It shakes up the Munster Championship completely. I think everybody looked at Waterford as the side who were going to finish in fifth and not get over. I backed them to finish fifth as well, but there was always that part of me that thought Waterford and Davy Fitz, they're the type of side that could that could upset the odds. That could upset the odds, and they absolutely did it today. Um, Patrick Curran, who came on, was was very good as well. Two points from him, um, and yeah, what a commendable performance from from Waterford. They, they probably haven't shown enough battle throughout the league. They haven't shown. They didn't show up much last year, maybe on the final day versus Tipperary, but they absolutely showed it today in abundance. And um, yeah, it was very very evident to see. In fairness. And look, can Waterford get out of Munster now? That's going to be the big question. Do they have what it takes to get out of the uh, of the Munster Championship? I mean, they'll obviously, I think, have to play Clare and Limerick in their final two games. I think their next game is against Tipperary. If they win that, they put themselves in a fantastic position going into Clare and Limerick. And, and all of a sudden, you know, the, the thinking changes for Waterford, you know, maybe even get into a Munster final. So, yeah, it's quite incredible what one win can do to, to shake up the dynamic of uh, of hurling in fairness and of the Munster Hurling Championship. Um, but for Cork, just another very disappointing uh, defeat. Like Conor Lahan was very quiet. One point from him wasn't really in it. Patrick Horgan finished with seven. But overall, not really his best day. Um, Seamus Harnady was quiet enough with two points. Shane Barrett with three just didn't click for Cork and and they were absolutely rattled by Waterford's intensity. Like Waterford, as I said, that opening 10 minutes was crucial. Waterford gave themselves a, a, a base to build off. Um, and for Cork, it was always up to them after that to come back into it. And they, um, they couldn't find it within themselves. And Waterford, Waterford kicked on, Waterford kicked on. So fair play to Waterford. Um, you know, what does this mean for their season? I'll be curious to know what people think. Any war for the fans, Cork fans. Um, you feel like it is a massive setback for, for Cork Hurl and, and everything else. Like, still have to play Clare, still have to play Limerick. Uh, Clare away next week, or uh, Clare at home, obviously, next week. Um, if they win that, they're back in it. But all of a sudden, if they lose that, you know, it's it's going to be very tough for Cork. Very, very tough for Cork. And um, for a county with the history of Cork, in terms of all Orleans and, and everything else, obviously having won one in a, in a long time now, like you're going as far back as what, 2004, 2005. So like for them not to get out of Munster again would be a real, real setback for, for Cork. There's absolutely no doubt about it. So yeah, be curious to know what Cork fans think uh, in the comments down below. Uh, in terms of man of the match, 
there's a few players you could look at. Jamie Barron was obviously outstanding, won three. Um, you could look at Desi Hutchinson, who was very, very good. You could look at Calum Lyons, who was outstanding. Uh, Michael Coyley, equally very good. But I think the man I will go with is Jamie Barron. I thought he was absolutely brilliant with, with one three. But let me know in the comments um, your opinions on the game, who you thought was man of the match. We will be live tomorrow at 7 o'clock with uh, Matthew Hurley from the, the Gaelic Statsman podcast. We'll, we'll be reviewing the football action and we'll be reviewing the, the hurling action as well. And I'm sure he'll have a lot to say about this game. No doubt about that. So, yeah, cheers anyone who's tuned in. Hit the like button, subscribe. My name's Aaron. Speak to you all again.